And so to Lithuania, where the flight was bound before it was intercepted. And now apparently wants Belarusian airspace to be closed to all international flights. Lithuania is Belarus's neighbour and the public broadcaster there reports the government has called it an act of state terrorism, which made the airspace unsafe for everyone. Maria Skododis is the Lithuanian Minister of Transport and Communication, joins me via Skype from Vilnius. Good evening, Minister. Let's Hello. put this bluntly. Um, avoiding airspace goes so far, but that really penalises airlines who have to fly further and at greater cost of fuel. What is it that you think will make the Belarusian authorities realise what a dreadful thing they did? Look, our purpose is very, very clear. The safety of our citizens and passengers travelling to and from Lithuania is our primary and absolute priority. And if it takes a little more time and cost for airlines to arrive to Lithuania or, you know, to divert flights, somehow it is the cost we need to pay for the safety. Safety is our priority. Yes, but safety might be your priority, Minister, but actions on the back of the Belarusian decision, uh, actions have to be taken. And... You know, I can hear people say, well, it must be a proportionate response. Don't you think this calls for a disproportionate response? So the message is rammed home. I don't think so, because the yesterday's event showed that no one in the Belarusian airspace is safe. Basically, what happened yesterday? The plane, which took an international route, was forcefully grounded, the first thing. Secondly... Hostages, people were held hostage. Families, small right. kids, they didn't know what happened. And the same with the Belarus uh, journal, so dissident journalists. No, because not all the passengers continued with their flight. And we still don't know what, ha what has happened with them. So what, for you, is a correct response to Belarus for doing this? So our government approved a very concrete and comprehensive package of measures. And only one of them is uh, to ban the use of air, Belarusian airspace for international flights. This is only one measure. We took it on the national level, but of course we expect that other countries would follow and the British announced similar measures, and I am sure that after the European Council meetings, there will be a certain decision by other member states. And if that doesn't work? It will work. How in Lithuania it works, basically, we don't allow any flights to land or to depart from Lithuanian airports if they cross the Belarusian airspace. Basically, flights are not allowed to to operate. This is how... No, I, 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 get the, I get the... I get the... I understand that bit. What I'm trying to say is, is that hard enough? I mean, sanctions against leaders that are already sanctioned for their behaviour during last year's um, outrageous election. You've got... All right, so you ban over... You ban basically overflight of Belarus airspace. But surely, as long as Russia continues to support Belarus, as it has done and did do, then you're going to have to do more. And I ask you, Minister, what more should be done? Economic sanctions, which affect the regime, because the regime functions by getting money from state-owned enterprises, which uh, trade with EU, for instance, member states, and the same with Russia. What needs to be done is to take uh, un basically quick, timely actions, because without them, similar situations could continue, and we cannot allow that. So let me be sceptical about the ability of the EU to come up with a response that basically shocks the Belarusians back to the table or back to, to, to decent behaviour. Do you think the EU can do it? Or will it be a classic EU, wishy-washy, heavy on statement, light on action? 
I think at the moment we have a window of opportunity because this flight is not about Lithuania and Belarus. It is about citizens from 11 countries, 11 nationalities. This event, yesterday's event, affected half basically the majority, the main EU member states, and we need to react. Otherwise, similar situations could continue. Next time, there could be another flight, a German one, a British one, or from any, any other country. Minister, I appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you.